Hello everyone, welcome back to our Lakshmi's physics class. In this video, I am going to explain the solution for this problem. Let's see. The figure shows the path of light ray through a triangular prism. In this phenomenon, the angle theta is given by. So here the diagram is given. I am going to redraw the diagram. Let's see. This is given here it is angle of the prism is given 90 degree and a ray is incident and refracted through like this. So this is the given diagram. So let's draw the normal here. The angle between incident ray and the normal is angle of incidence and this is the refracted ray. This is what given in, in the problem now draw the normal here also so at the second interface this is the concept of critical angle so you can consider this as a incident ray for this refracted ray so this is angle of instance just I am writing theta as just theta c to show that this is this angle as a critical angle so now let's see this is going to be uh, 90 minus theta c and here also this is going to be 90 minus theta c so if this is 90 minus theta c and this is 90 this is going to be theta c so now our aim is to find out uh, what is the value of theta let's see for that we know from Snell's law the formula is sin i by sin r equal to n2 by n1 here n2 is the denser medium so here it is some medium we can consider it as a denser medium a ray is a, a passing through the prism and n1 is a, a medium which is air which we can consider it as a rarer medium so here uh, let us consider n2 value is n and uh, refractive index of air is 1 now do the cross multiplication here n1 sin i equal to n2 sin r so here n1 value is 1 so 1 into sin according to the given problem i am replacing with theta c which is equal to n2 uh, let it be n right so n into sin r so 90 minus theta c for this incident angle this is the 90 refracted angle so that is 90 minus theta c so sin ic is equal to n into sin 90 minus theta is cos theta so here it is cos theta c let it be equation number one so from the formula of critical angle we know that sin ic is equal to 1 by n so according to this problem I am replacing IC with theta C which is equal to 1 by N. Okay. Now from the trigonometry we know that sin square theta plus cos square theta according to this problem I am writing as theta C equal to 1. So from this cos square theta equal to 1 minus sin square theta. So cos theta is equal to 1 minus sin square theta c under root we know the value of sin theta c which is equal to 1 by n substitute it here cos theta equal to 1 minus 1 by n whole square under root so cos theta is equal to 1 minus 1 by n square so now take the lcm so cos theta is equal to n square minus 1 divided by n square okay on calculating so here we got it cos theta is equal to n square minus 1 divided by n square under root. So this will get cancelled. Cos theta is equal to n square minus 1 divided by n. So let it be equation number 2. Now substitute equation number 2 in equation number 1. So what's the equation number 1? sin theta c is equal to n into cos theta c value already here we got it so this is theta c continue theta c only so that is n square minus 1 by n 
okay so here n and n will get cancelled sin theta c equal to n square minus 1 theta c is equal to sin inverse of n square minus 1 under root so this is the value of theta i hope this is clear please like the video share with your friends and don't forget to subscribe the channel thank you for watching this video